Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good to see you. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> it's a mutual feeling. <laughs> All right, excellent. Good job. Is everybody ready? Yes? Yay. Okay, very good. So today, le voy a dar bastante tiempo para que hablen entre ustedes. Okay? Very good, very good. Let's wait one minute for the for the rest of our friends. Okay, let's go ahead and, and start. Um, let's see, ¿dónde están en la plataforma? ¿Por dónde van? Sara, ¿por dónde va? Sorry, teacher, I'm in the two level. I have some problem, problems and I don't work too much. Okay, okay. But right. I promise you that tomorrow we are going to work a lot. <laughs> okay, all right. Alex, uh, this is 3.3. Okay, very good. I creo que eso es lo que vamos a ver ahora. Uh, Abner, where are you in the platform? Uh, Eduardo, por dónde va en la plataforma? Alex? Uh, teacher, I am in the section two. But okay. because I was in, in the final exam in my university, so I ah, okay, no, está atrasado. Okay, you yes. gotta catch up. You gotta catch up. Okay, what else, Alex? Alex, are you there? Starting the three, section three. Okay, good, good. Okay, Eric, where are you in the platform? Three point three. Three point three. Okay, very good. So por ahí estamos. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. All right, excellent. So uh, today's lesson, let me check. Okay, today va a ser la 3.3, all right, so very good, okay. Uh, let's watch 3.1, the video. And uh, do you remember the modos? ¿Se acuerdan los modos? ¿Qué son modos? Yes. Example? Like shy. Mm. No, sorry, sorry. No, okay, should, no. should. Should, could, yes. Could. could uh, sorry. <laughs> Must. Uh -huh. um, name. Uh huh. My. Um, I don't remember the other, but. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Very good. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and watch a video. It is a conversation and una, una, a little story. And then I want you to notice something. Van a preguntar permiso. Okay? Cuando preguntamos permiso, queremos preguntar permiso por algo, para hacer algo. Entonces usamos los modos sometimes. Okay? For example, may I go to the bathroom? May I go to the bathroom? Um, could, I, could I use your bathroom, please? <laughs> right? And so we're going to go ahead and, and, and re, uh, listen to those questions, okay? A ver si captan eh, las veces que usan los modal verbs to ask for permission. So let me go to the video. Okay, let's go to our class. Okay, let's watch uh, the video, this 
and it's going to be a story. I want you to notice how many times they use could, would, can I, do you want, okay? All right, algunos ya vieron este video. Tal vez solo lo vieron, pero no, no captaron los modal verbs. So I want you to um, uh, capture the verbs, the modal verbs. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town, too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, you've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. homework coming. Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. part. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. 
You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? <laughs> I guess a good book can still bring people together. Okay, very good. Now, in this, in this video, you saw that they were asking questions. Could you do me a favor? Do you mind if I? All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and look at the lesson, the next lesson that we have. Okay, let me see. We have this video. This is the last video. Okay, no lo vamos a ver todo, solo introduction, so that you can see the grammar. The grammar that they were using on the video, it was three different type of grammar. We're gonna use a gerund, right? So would you mind after well, you would you video. mind? Um, we're neighbors using models. If hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. Okay, so let me skip it. Si no, <clears throat> si no se van a dormir. Look, in this section, in this video, you have three things. You have to do three things. You have to ask questions, asking permission, uh, using number one, modals. Van directamente con los modals. For example, can. Can I borrow your pencil? Could. Could you lend me a jacket? Directly with modals. Okay? Now, lo que siguen no van directamente con modals, sino que usan una if clause. For example, look, number three. Is it okay if I use your cell phone? Okay, let me see. Creo que tengo una foto más grande. So, para que ustedes puedan verlo acá. Yes, I have a bigger picture. Let me use this one. Okay, for example, number three says, is it okay if, hay un if, okay? Do you mind if, if? Would it be okay if, if? Okay, would you mind if? Okay. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Ah, aquí tenemos un gerund. Look, letting. Una palabra, un verbo, usando ing. Okay. So here we have a gerund. I wonder if I could borrow some money. I was wondering if you mind Lending, ah, otro gerund. Okay. So, aquí tenemos modos, le voy a poner una M, modos, modos, if, if clause, okay. Estas también es if, 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 and this is a gerund, gerund, uh, and, Jaren. All right, very good. Un poco difícil escribir con eso. All right, so what you're going to do is ask permission. Now, I want you to look at something. Vamos, less formal to more formal. Okay? So, aquí depende a quién le estamos preguntando permiso. Okay? ¿Por qué? Because, for example, if you ask permission to your friend, you can be less formal. But if you ask permission to your boss, to jefe, your, right, your boss, the person that hires you and pays you, um, then you have to be more formal, more formal, okay? So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do an exercise, okay? This is a speaking exercise. Y esto va a tomar casi un buen tiempo de la clase. All right, so let me see. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. Okay, let me show it to you. You have seven different situations. Okay, 
let's look at situation one. You need to ask your boss for permission for a day off. Quieres un día libre, un día extra, right? No quieres llegar a trabajar ese día, so you got something to do. So you're going to ask permission to your boss. Um, you're going to use a motto, if clause, and a gerund. Okay? Tal como está en el ejemplo eh, este. Okay? Pueden cambiar las palabras, whatever you want. Okay? Eh, esta foto se lo mandé en el grupo. So you go. You have seven different situations that you're going to do. Okay? You have seven different situations. Okay? Le voy a mandar esto. Eh, lo voy a dividir en grupo. And you guys are going to do this together. Okay? Questions? Huh? All right, let's go to the groups. Okay, let's do small groups, uh, two or three people, okay? Day. No, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> and I'm, no, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, um, uh, when I going to, I going to use the less formal, and I can say, um, okay, with your boss, are you going to use the less formal? No, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to talk with my boss in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great man, but no, thank you. <laughs> no, it's better to my friend. Okay, I'm going to say, can you okay. uh, spend time with me today? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I can. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes, I can. <laughs> of course. Okay, let's go. Uh, Okay, but we are going to have we're going to give examples according to the situations, right? Yes. Okay. The first one is you need to ask your boss for take a day off. Can I take or could be using like maybe could could I yeah. take a day off? Yeah. Because it's a bus. Could be a little bit more formal, right? Mm. Because it's a bus. We have to, to put one example for each one, right? Like for more yeah. as one for if okay. Yeah, put one Sorry. example for each. Um obviously, I mean you, you will use the more formal one to speak to your boss, but but I just want you to practice the, the models. Ah, okay, teacher. Thank you. So, very good. Number one, you can say, can I have a day off? Okay. What if you use the if clause? Pueden iniciar así como está en el... En el ah, would ejemplos. you mind if I take a, a, a day off? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the uh, gerunds could be, 
would you mind giving me a day off tomorrow? Yes, very good. ¿Cuál, es el, cuál sería el gerund ahí? Giving me, right? Giving me. Can you repeat so that everyone can, can hear you? Would you mind giving me a day off tomorrow? Yes, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Si quieren escribirlas también, I mean, allí donde están in, in, your, in your cell phone or en un papel si quieren solo para practicarlas. You can write them down if you want. Okay. Okay. Yo sé que aquí es difícil escribir. Yo sé que es solo es una picture, but, but uh, you know, just so you can have it. Okay. All right. Very good. So you're finished with number one. Number one. Finish situation one. Now go to situation two. Okay. Uh... To ask police officer for directions. Um, okay. But like, could you please help me get in the pizza hut or something like that? Okay. Yeah, you can. You can. You can use that. Can you tell me where Pizza Hut oh. is? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. la, 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 la. Uh, okay. When you want more money, earn more money. Uh, <laughs> that, that's no, be, that, that has to be very for, formal. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I was wondering if. Okay, I'm going I, to do it. <laughs> you, uh, uh, okay. You. <laughs> I'm doing my best in this so, moment and so, all the years before. <laughs> so, I was suppose, wondering if you'd mind. <laughs> right? Suppose me. I am your boss. How yes. can you ask for? Yes, I say I say uh, just uh justificacion. Yo voy a buscar también just una justificacion. I I did my best all these years before. <laughs> I don't know if she she is she's there. <laughs> I think that she's busy in other things. Yeah. Okay, very good. And uh, what situation are you in? Number one, number two. Well, we are we are taking a, a discuss about the use of the gerund form. I think that this is the, the most difficult way. Yeah, it's the most Oops. difficult way, but it's the most formal. But yes, you can. For example, we discussed the, the example of the situation five about the the cup of sugar. Ya llegaron ahí. <laughs> no, las tomamos salteadas. <laughs> no, look, practice non, practice the first one. The first one is very easy. Eh, if you're talking, no, import, no importa quién estás hablando ahorita, no te enfoques mucho en eso, sino que trata de reflejar el uso de modos, if, clause, and gerunds, y puedes usar lo mismo que está allí en el, en, en el cuadrito ese de, de práctica, de ejemplos. For example, number, number for one. For example, if, in, in situation number one, mm -hmm. for gerunds we can use, uh, I was wondering if, I was wondering if, you if you giving me a day off if, i was wondering if you can give me a day off okay yes but so, in gerund's form in gerund form usa usa el mismo ejemplar que está ahí en gerund forms uh, look at the example that you have there entonces you can say uh uh would you mind giving me a day off uh, so me, we have to. Yeah. It's, it's easier if you use. You will mind. Mm -hmm. Usa lo mismo que está allí. Si quiere usar lo que está allí en, en, en letras negras y después el resto, ustedes lo, 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 lo aplican según el ejemplo. Would you mind? And then you have to use a an ing. Uh -huh. 
would you would you mind assigning me a day off would you mind giving me a day off okay 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 and what what about not with the if clause for number one i was wondering if you can give me uh, a day off okay nice that easy all right situation yes, number two You need to ask a police officer for directions. And uh, for models, can you can you tell me what is the church, for example? Ah, can you tell me where is the church? Okay, very good. We can we uh, I um I have a question. We can use, for example, may instead of can. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Like, um, um, may you please uh, help me with some direction? Yes. Yes. You can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. Very good. So, ahí está, la, ahí está la primera. For situation number two, you already have the, the, the models. Now, if cost, if cost. I was wondering if you can tell me where the church is. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm, I'm asking myself if you can uh, help me. Uh, to go to some place, for example, to go to the police station. Uh, for uh, in qual in models if clause or gerunds. In if clause. In if clause. Uh, qual sería? Que, can you repeat the, the example you gave? It's like I'm asking if you can help me. Is if you can help me uh, going to the police station. Okay. Um, en vez de decir I am asking if yo cambiaría eso y pusiera could you could you okay. or would you mind would you mind okay okay if for for gerunds could be would you mind telling me what where, where is the the police station Yes, very good. I tell Jaren, telling, telling. Mm -hmm. You can use giving. Would you mind giving? Giving me the address of. Yes. Or I don't know. Mm -hmm. Correct. ¿Qué más? You can use another one. Maybe. Would you mind directing me? Or, directing. Or... Me? Mm -hmm. And the situation three, it could be in if clause. Uh, I wonder if you uh, if you let me borrow your car. Uh, for number, espera, brincaste a las tres. Okay, están <laughs> brincando. Okay, very good. Uh, before you go there, porque brincaste de la if clause de la dos a la if clause de las tres. Vayan en orden para que agarren. La practice. This is this is what it is. Mm -hmm. So if clause, what can you say uh, for the police officer address if clause? So um, I'm gonna try with with the situation number two. And model could be um, can you please uh, can you please help me? With the direction of the of the hospital. Okay, that is a seria modus, pero no hay un yeah. clause. Okay, es yeah. seria modus, modus no, for situation was, two. Yeah, yeah, I was I was speaking this uh, as a as an order with the models, then if clause and then gerunds. Okay, so that was my model, I think. Mm -hmm. And if okay. close, it, it will be, if could be, um, I wonder if you can help me with the direction of the hospital. Yes. And in Jaren, mm -hmm. it could be, um, I was wondering if you can help me with the direction of the hospital. Mm -hmm. eh, solo que necesitas usar un ING. Um, yeah, it, it, uh, it was, I was wondering. I was wondering, yeah. no, no, porque después de el wondering, tiene que después ir un ing. Uh, for example, 
you you uh, you can say would you mind telling me where the church is would you mind telling me where the church is okay mm -hmm. okay now i understand it. Yeah. i think it's it's really hard topic to understand but now i think i get mm -hmm. that Okay. Yeah, I think the complicated part is to is to know what what kind of bird you have to use for yeah. for the question. The, the most difficult one is the gerund. Right? Yes, because you have to pick a, a verb that you can use in that. Para que sea más fácil, usen la misma frase. Would you mind? Would you mind? Okay. Y después de mind. Va a ir un año. Ok, Pablo, te voy a poner en mute solo para que. Ok, ok. Very good. Ok, go. Eh, Carlos, number three, situation three. What do you think? Let me see. You need to ask a friend to let your. to let your borrow his car. And models. Can I borrow, can you borrow, yes, can you borrow me your car? No, can I borrow your car? Uh, yes, I, I think that is a misspelling. Let your borrow his car, let you. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, right? You, see, you need to ask your friend to let you borrow his car. No, let you borrow let you. his car. Yes. El, el carro le pertenece a él. Let you borrow his car. Can I use your car? Can I use your car? Uh -huh. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Niklos, I was wondering if you can, uh, if I can use your car. Perfect. Jerons, uh -huh. will you my borrow? Uh, no, you borrow, need an ING. Would you would mind? You mind letting me use your car? Ahí está. Letting. Very good. ING. Okay. Very good. Continue. Alex, Alex, I think that I already wrote there. Would it be okay if I use the bathroom? Okay. Um, the German could be, would you mind letting me use the bathroom? Yes, that's correct. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next one is as close. It's close, okay. yes. Uh, do you mind? Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Okay. Do you mind yes. if I use your bathroom? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm a... And the next one uh, with Jerons. With Jerons, okay. Um. I wonder if I could use your bathroom. Okay. It's okay. Okay, perfect. And the, the last one. The last one. As your co-worker to borrow his or laptop. Okay. I am. Uh, oh. uh, which uh, maybe uh, is it's a one because moral is lost in the same. Yes, moral. Uh, it's a poor worker. Uh, if, can I can I borrow your laptop? Yes, because co worker is maybe like a friend. Maybe, maybe your friend. Yes, okay. Perfect. Uh, it's okay. okay. Um, the second one with if clause. If clause. Um, would you mind if I use your laptop? Yeah, okay, it's okay. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, the last one, Gerons. Gerons, yes. Okay, I was, I don't know, would you, would you mind, would you mind uh, letting me use your laptop? Oh, okay, perfect. It's okay. the same example. <laughs> yes, it is. I, you're right. <laughs> so th this is this is this is correct. Yes. Okay. The, this other was more easy. Only the the direction was a little bit difficult. A little, but if you change the if you change the direction for the exactly where do you want to go, it's more easy. Yes. Yes. Th this is the the key. <laughs> Because yes. the only side direction is, is more difficult. If you want, we can repeat the, the direction. Okay. The situation the, two. Uh-huh. The situation number two. With models. Mm -hmm. um, it can be called, if, if, for example, could you, could you, could you, could you, could you, could you tell me? Can you tell me where is? Anna, could you tell me where the where the park is? Is the ah yes uh, maybe? Could you tell me where the park is? In the yes. uh -huh. because the more specific. Yes, it's more specific. Uh, because in this case we we use two questions because could you tell me and where the park is yes it's okay uh -huh. uh, we try with if clause um, would you mind if <laughs> this is the difficult one. It's yeah the difficult. It's difficult because you're asking for Okay, and um, Alex, did you get it? Oh no, Ricardo, sorry, did you get it? Okay, I got it. I'm gonna send it to Alex. Okay, Alex? Yeah, it says ready. Okay, um, we are already finished, teacher. Okay, excellent, yeah, ya vamos a, a regresar. Let's, let's go. Thank you all. Okay, very good. All right. Um, who wants to who wants to share? Cualquiera, no importa la orden ahí. Maybe okay. you can share. So the first situation that we had was you need to ask uh, uh, for a day off to your boss. How can you do it, Alex, with um, the models, the if clause, and the gerund? Okay, the models, we we wrote an example. Uh, can I take a day off with if clause? I wonder if I could have a day off. And with gerunds, I was wondering if you mind letting me take a day off. Excellent, very good. Uh, let's see, next, situation number two. You need to ask a police officer for directions. Models. If clause and gerunds. 
Who wants to go? Get it. Me too. Omar, go do it. Or who? I, I, I will do it. Okay. okay. Situation number two models. Uh, could you help me? If if close, I wonder if you could help me to find this direction. Okay. And with Jaron, would you mind telling me where the supermarket is? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, situation number three. You need to ask your friend to let you borrow uh borrow I creo que lo escribí mal. Sorry. <laughs> borrow his car. His car. How can you uh, ask him? Motos, if clause and germs. Who wants to go? Cualquiera, no importa. Anybody. So I will do it. Can okay, I use me. your car for models? And if close, I was wondering if I can use your car. Mm -hmm. And for the last one, for Jaron, would you mind letting me use your car? Good, good job, excellent. And the next one, situation number three, you need to ask your friend to let you, no, no, situation number four, sorry. You need to ask your boss for a raise. What is a raise? <laughs> Give me more money. Of salario. <laughs> yes, more money. <laughs> more money. <laughs> All right. How can you do it? Go, Sara, you can do it. Go. Okay, me. <laughs> I, gi I gave a uh, justification. <laughs> okay. I was working uh, many years before. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, the first one with the model, could you raise me? Raise me? Give me? Can you, could you give me a raise? Could what you is? give me a raise? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, do you mind? Oh, and the... Um, the second one, the if clause is, um, would you mind if I, res, uh, is I, re, uh, can, how can you say merezco? Uh, would you mind if I can get, or would you I mind if I have a raise? <laughs> a raise. Tiene algo, algo, alguna diferente en esa que quisiera compartir? For number four, the if clause. Would you mind letting me to have a, a race? race? Ah, pero eso sería la like, Jaren. Would you mind? Uh, you. Would you mind letting me? Yeah. Letting me. Ah, pero eso sería Jaren. Esa es buena, pero para Jaren. Uh, what What do you have for uh, number? Uh, Alguien más for section uh, situation number four if clause. Alguien tiene. But, Uh -huh. Would it be would it be okay if I get a raise? Ah, okay, that's a good one. Yes, estaba en el ejemplo también en que vimos. Would it be okay if? Okay, very good, Sara. Uh, the next one, Jerons. Situation number four, Jerons. Jerons, I have a saying uh, that is if. Uh, okay, just wait me a second. Uh, um, I lose, okay, I have now. Uh, 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 sorry, chair, just give me one second. Okay, no problem. So in this section, I told you, I'm going to let you know that you siempre, would you mind? And then the next word yes. is a gerund. Okay, go. Okay, would you mind, I have a letting out again. Would you mind letting, letting give me a raise? Okay, would you oh. mind, ahí sería mejor la palabra giving me. Would you mind giving, giving me okay. a raise? Would you mind giving me a raise? Yes, okay, very good. All right, number, situation number five. You need to ask your neighbor for a cup of sugar. Number, number five, who wants to do number five? Situation number five, ¿Quién quiere ir? 
Let's see. Uh, Andrea, no sé si estabas para la práctica. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. the number five. Uh, um, Okay. Okay. Um, for models, can I have a cup of sugar? Mm -hmm. For if close, uh, would you mind if I have a cup of sugar? Okay. And for Jerons, um, 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 um I was wondering if you mind letting me a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. Giving me? Mm -hmm. Very good. Giving me. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Situation number six. You need to ask a restaurant to use the bathroom. Maybe maybe you're there at the restaurant. Y está comiendo, but may, can I use the restroom? Or maybe you just want to go in there like an emergency. <laughs> Okay, who wants to do number six? Omar, you want to do number six, situation number six? Yes, sure. Uh, for the first models, could be, uh, can I use the bathroom? Mm -hmm. uh, if close, uh, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Perfect, yes. And Jaren's? I was wondering if you mind using the bathroom. Mm. No, allí si decís using the bathroom, es que tú le estás diciendo a él que use el baño. Do you mind? Okay. So you have to use something like, do you mind? Esa frase está bien. Do you mind okay. letting me? Do you mind letting me use the bathroom? Yes, perfect, perfect. Okay. And, oh. and teacher, uh, mm -hmm. I I have a question. Can yes. we use can we use uh, restroom instead of bathroom? Yes, yes. Uh, because restroom is for public use. I don't know. Yeah, yes, it's it's more public, public like you say. Uh huh. Yes, no problem. It can be the same. Maybe if you're in a house and. You want to use uh, your friend? Hey, can I use your bathroom? Maybe, yeah. Yes, and and the same case for a rice. I don't know if uh, can we use uh, increase. Mm, you increase can say salary. salary increase. Yes. Increase salary. Okay. Salary salary yeah. increase. Mm -hmm. In English, in yeah. English, es al revés. Salary increase. Okay. Sure. Thank you. you use Halloween, Halloween, use your bathroom. In uh, what? Perdón. Uh, the example that say Omar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah. Ah, él, él me está diciendo si, 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 si es mejor usar restroom que bathroom. No, pero podría usar, uh, me permites usar tu baño como Halloween. Me permitir. Ah, can oh. you allow me? Y no sé si estás usando esa palabra. Allow me. Permitirme. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, you can use that. Can you allow me? Uh, solo que ahí te diera que decir, can you allow me to use your bathroom? Mm -hmm. oh. For models, you Thank can say, can I use your bathroom or your restroom? Okay. Very good. Situation number seven. Uh, you need to ask your co-worker if you can borrow her or his laptop. Who wants to do it? Practice. Hmm? Uh, let's see, let's see. Pablo, I don't know if you're there. Yes? Pablo, are you yes, there? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm here. So, I'm going. Yeah. So okay. it was situation number five, right? Seven, seven. Seven. Okay, okay, sorry. So 
can you please borrow borrow me your laptop? Is that okay? Mm, no. Eh, can, aquí tenemos que usar otra palabra que es lending. 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 Okay. Uh, can you lend me your laptop? Can I use your laptop? Okay. And if close, I was wondering if you can lend me your laptop. Okay, good. And at the, at the end, in German, uh -huh. it could be, um, would you mind letting me use your laptop? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, excellent. I think you did, everybody did a very good job. Okay. Aprendieron diferentes formas de decir lo mismo. Okay. De eso se trata. And viendo que ay, puede ser formal o informal. Okay. Eh, in English, eh, you can use, you can say the same thing in different ways. Eso siempre va a ser. You can say the same thing in different ways. Eh, para mí es más fácil de esta forma. Para mí es más fluido si lo digo así. Okay, no problem. You do it how you want to. Okay? You do it how you want to. Um, con tal que tú sepas que, okay, this is one way I can say it. I can say it this way. But I, uh, I feel comfortable this way. Okay? Pero siempre es bueno saber que hay otra forma de decir lo mismo. All right, very good. Questions for this exercise? Questions? No? Todo bien? No, All right, so this, this exercise is 3.3, and then you have a practice. So let me share with you my computer very quick. Um, so, para sacar cualquier, cualquier práctico. Eh, perdón. Perdón, quiero parar el video. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, the practice is the knowledge check 3.4. Uh, if you have any questions, solo quiero repasarla so that you can have, a, in case you have questions. It says, instructions, do not write the whole request, only the, only the completion of it. Make sure you use the correct spelling and pronunciation. So no voy a escribir todo la oración, sino lo que sigue. You want to use your roommate's computer. Is it okay? And then what you can do is, eh, pueden, pueden reflejarse en el cuadrito de los ejemplos que, de, que está en WhatsApp. And continue with that. Okay? Now, um, le voy a enseñar solamente algunas de las opciones que hay, porque hay varias. Okay? So, para, para que vean, for example, number one, eh, is it okay if I use your computer? Is it okay if I use your computer? Eh, sin la pregunta. Eh, is it okay if I use your computer? Okay, so, para que vean, por veces la plataforma es como very case sensitive. Okay? Um, so, si no encaja de alguna forma es porque, ah, voy a tratar con la mayúscula, ok, traten, ah, voy a tratar con el question mark. Okay? So, try to do it. Okay? If you have any questions, then tell me for this exercise, all right? And then the next exercise that we have is a listening exercise, 3.7, uh, it's a listening exercise, y ahí vamos a continuar, okay? So, eh, hay un examen final después de la sección 3, no sé si algunos ya comenzaron, o ya, por lo menos ya saben que, que está ahí, yeah? Sí? Yes, the, the middle test. Teacher. The middle test, uh -huh, the midterm. Ya saben, ya saben que está ahí, va? Yes, okay, okay. Yes, All right, very yes. good. So, so you, can, you can start, porque en realidad no es nada nuevo, sino es un repaso de lo que ya vieron. Entonces, eh, pueden, pueden comenzar si quieren ya ese examen. All right, if you have any questions, then tell me. All right. Eh, eh, ¿quién, quién, estaba, ¿Quién estaba ayer para la pronunciation practice that we did? Do you remember the pronunciation? Huh? The word? Th sound. The th sound. Okay, I got two minutes, so 
Remember, TH sound. ¿Quién se acuerda de las dos eh, categorías? Bueno, hay tres, pero vimos. Voice, voice, voice and vibration. Voice and TH, voiceless. ¿Quién me explica qué, qué es la diferencia? What is the difference? Vibration. <laughs> ok, but tell me. Ok, voice, ¿qué significa voice? La voz. When we use, uh, when it's voice is when we, uh, when we have a vibration on our throat. Yes. And when it's voiceless, we use just the air. Yes, very good. Ahí está. That's, that's the key. Now, uh, this is something that you have to practice. No, no es teoría, sino que let's practice. For example, vibration. There. there. Them. They. The. Todas estas palabras tienen the vibration sound. For example, there. There. Them. Estoy, estoy exagerando bastante, but, you know, so that you can listen. They. Uh, Otra. Do you remember another? What about this one? Mother. The TH here. Thousand. 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 El TH de cuando... Thousand, you mean? Like this? Thousand, yes. Ah, pero este voiceless. Uh -huh. Ah, no, no, al, al principio. Es que... También se escribe así. Mm -hmm. Entonces, este voiceless, este es voice. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a, a tricky. Okay, very good. So, the next one that we saw was voiceless. ¿Qué quiere decir voiceless? Only air, right? Examples? Think. Think. Thank you. Thank you. Three. What else? Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Month. Birthday. Birthday. Ajá. Ahora, ahora ya saben que la pronunciación en la TH no es verde. <laughs> right? No. Es TH. Birthday. Month. Okay. Very good. And ¿cuál es la, la tercera que vimos? TH plus R, the TH plus R sound, okay? So examples, three. 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 Okay, very good. So aquí, aquí se usa el, el voiceless plus the R, very good. Throat, throne, como Game of Thrones. ¿Cuál más? Through. Through. Throw, uh, throw. We throw something. Okay. So these are all three. One, two, three. Two. One. Practice. One, two, three. Say it. Repeat. One, two, three. Ahí está. That's a that's a perfect pronunciation, right? Now. Um, Este sonido no existe en el español, right? En, en nuestro, nuestro español latinoamericano, no existe. So, it's very difficult, right? Sometimes le ponemos un three, all right? Or, eh, en vez de decir think, this, this, but usamos una Z, I think, all right? So, eh, remember, these are just uh, pronunciation sounds. TH voice, TH voiceless, and the TH R. Very important sounds, uh, American sounds. All right, questions? No? No question. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Continue practicing, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Okay, have a bye. good night. All right, bye.